Hey guys, it's Queen, and I'm back with another current household video. Um, I am in Lucky Poems, obviously. It's the newest edition, and I, I wanted to try it out and, you know, make sure I loved it, and I, I do. Um, seriously, probably, um, other than Bridgeport, it's probably one of my, it's like my new favorite neighborhood. Um, it's just perfect. So, my sim is currently at work. Her name is Juliet Morris. Um, and let's go ahead and I'll tell you her trait. She's a slob, vegetarian, natural cook, hopeless romantic, and charismatic. Um, she's still in her young adult ages. She's six, five days until she ages up. Um, she is dating, if you have Lucky Palm, she's dating uh, Jason Hendricks. Um, and she just has like a bunch of friends because she's in the political career. Um, she's a level six in the political career, a local representative, and those are her skills, you know, just handiness, cooking, and uh, charisma. And that's pretty much it, really. Um, I haven't used any of her lifetime reward points yet. Um, but this is where she's... That was really loud. Meet with Sims and obtain five. You can do that. Okay. Um... This is where she lives in uh, Lucky Palms in this house right here next to the rust pond. I call it the rust pond. It just looks like a bunch of rust from up above, doesn't it? But yeah, this is where she lives. And yes, she has a pink <laughs> sloppy jalopy. I figured it was only right, you know what I mean? If you're going to have a rust bucket, at least have a pink rust bucket, you know? Um, she lives with her dog, Linda Moon, um, and you can see Linda there. She got her as a puppy from the pet adoption, the neighborhood, pet adoption neighborhood place, the neighborhood pet adoption place, I don't know. And this is where she lives in this little, very, very modern, uh, shack. It doesn't even have, like, a bedroom, it's like a studio house, you know what I mean? Um, she's gonna come home in a minute. So, this is the inside of her house. Um, I used a lot of, I wanted to go with the mid-century, um, theme from the Sims 3 store, so almost everything you see in here is, if you like it, it's nine times out of ten, it's from the mid-century, uh, set in the Sims 3 store, the mid-century collection, I guess. I'll put the walls up for a second, even though it's nothing too spectacular. Um, we were poor until she just got, you know, a little bit of money. I think we had, like, six millions when I started this, um... Or something. No, it was like it was a couple of a couple more, because he just uh, Linda Moon just aged up, so we sold our pet bed because it was a smaller one, and we got like sixty five to millions from that or something. But she literally is so like poor; it's not even funny. Um, and this is like the kitchen area, obviously, uh, little whoopsie living room area. And I'm sorry, I sound so weird. I know I say that all the time, but I really do sound weird right now. Um, I need some water <laughs> really bad. Um, and then her bathroom oh. is just, seriously, it's, her house is not, what is that? And is that a gnome? Oh. Oh. Is this a gnome? Oh. I think this is some sort of gnome that I'm going to sell for some civilians because we're poor. Um, well, Linda, you can go ahead and nap. Oh, this is what she looks like. Uh, right here. Very, very simple. Nothing too spectacular. Um, she's actually a pre-made sim that I just customized. I didn't change her. Did I, I think I did change her a little bit of her facial features, but nothing, nothing too serious. This is her everyday attire. Um, it is from Outdoor Living Stuff. Uh, the hair is from the Sims 3 store. It's a nice little ponytail there. Um, which is how I'm wearing my hair tomorrow. <laughs> um, let's see. It, like, exactly like this tomorrow. I have my big bow. My ribbon is, uh, black, though. And it's gonna be a big bow just like that. Um, let's see here. This outfit is from, um, Outdoor Living Stuff. And, uh, the shoes are from Fastlane Stuff. Or whatever. And, yeah, so that is my, this is my current household my plans with her are to eventually uh, just move her in with Jason because he's rich. Where does, I don't even know where Jason lives. I have no idea. Let's find it really quick. <laughs> uh, let's try to find where the Hendricks live. 
do, do, do. Not here, no. Uh, Hendrix, right here. This is where Jason lives. He does have commitment issues, so it's going to be kind of, uh, I think it's going to be hard to move in with him or to get him to move in with us. But he lives alone, and look, he has two cars. He can share one. We're driving sloppy jalopy here. You know what I mean? That's what you do, ladies. You get a rich boyfriend. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so we're going to be moving in there. Um, what I wanted to show you guys, is he, oh, I'm like, is he having a party tonight? What I wanted to show you guys was what I did with some of the, um, community lots in Lucky Palms here. Um, obviously here's the casino. This is, I placed the casino exactly where I told you it would go. Um, and it fits perfectly. Uh, let's see here. And that I set as a um i think i set it as a poolside club um this little thing here it's called the shady place i didn't change anything i ch well I, I didn't change the name but i changed it to a local watering hole and this is what that looks like this is what the outside looks like at least i didn't change any of anything on the outside but just for you guys that has lucky palms And then I just put in a professional bar and some, you know, some bar tables and stuff. And then, you know, they need to have some sort of fun. So I just put like a little mechanical bowl and a foosball table. And then for drinks at Diamondbacks, which is this place here, which is what I thought was the little cat, the little bistro, um, that it's not. It's, it's, yeah, I turned it into a dance club and this is... Oh, you won't be able to see it because it's not five o'clock yet. But all I did was I put in a professional bar and a DJ booth. I put it on the platform. That's like it. And I took the lamps off the tables because that, yeah. So that is pretty much my current household. Um, in a nutshell, this is what I'm playing. Um, yeah, like I said, we're going to marry uh, Jason probably like as soon as I'm done with this recording. Um, we're going to marry Jason and yeah, that's like it, you know, and move into his place or try to, even though I want to have his last name, so, but he has commitment issues, so I don't know how we're going to work this out here, you know, he hated it when I asked him to be my boyfriend, maybe I can show you guys drinks at Diamondbacks now that it's five o'clock, you see the little, the little lights, yeah, uh, let's see here. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, so yeah, I see. I put in a professional bar, took the lamps off the tables, and didn't change really anything else except that. Put those things in the back. That's like it. And then upstairs, it's the strobe light. That is why it's so bright. You guys are like, what? <laughs> It's a strobe light. I put in like a bunch of strobe lights. I think I overdid it. But I just put a little DJ booth and some smoke machines and stuff. And they do. They come up here and they dance. You don't need the dance floor for them to dance on the platform. Um, they just do. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And yeah. So that is my current household in a nutshell. I will definitely keep you guys up to date on the progress that I have. Um, with this household and everything like that. I love this sim. Um, and I love Lucky Palms. If you guys can uh, afford it, it's definitely worth the 20, uh, one, 21 millions, but $21 that um, I spent. Um, and to be honest, I would have paid the full price for this. So um, I'm really not complaining. I love it. I love this neighborhood. It's so many uh, fun sims and, uh, you know, great homes and... Uh, just yeah it's just a really really nice place and it has like it has like a lot of parks and it has an art gallery over here and then it has like a cheaper one over here you know what I mean it's just a really it has two community pools like it's just a really fun neighborhood um to be a part of and to uh to play in so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will talk to you guys all later. You will have a super fantastic, awesome, splendid, amazing day. And yeah. All right, guys. Bye.